part where you need to get better, you get worse. This is the part where guys start crying about cardio. They start bitching about eating fish meals. They start complaining about wanting to have a cheat day. They start just moaning and groaning. But this is when I actually start to kick ass and actually start having some fun. Um, we're in an empty gym, man. What else could you want? Got my pictures on the wall and stuff. Got an awesome gym. Shout out to Dylan Armbrus for providing me a great place to come kill it. Uh, throughout most of this prep, I actually been, um, for the first part of it, I was actually traveling a lot. And uh, doing stuff with my supplement brand. And uh, also some other obligations. But um, <coughs> when you're getting ready for a show and you're traveling all the time, you're trying to do the business of bodybuilding, it's quite difficult because you realize that you're not at home. You're not eating the same food, sleeping in the same bed, having a routine, you know, with family, friends, stuff like that. And uh, traveling abroad, whether it be out of the country or even just in another city, it's very, very difficult. The sleep schedule's off. You know, a lot of guys are like, well, you know, I drive, you know, three hours to the gym and snap. So I salute you. But it's a little hard when, really. you know, guys like me, I've traveled over 220,000 miles this year already. But, uh, you know, I do it for you guys, not just for myself at this point, because let's face it, I mean, I've already won three Mr. Olympias. Um, I've, I've definitely had a great career so far. But I've got a lot of years left in this body, and, uh, and I'm really, really excited for the opportunity at hand. You know, a lot of guys were chirping about, you know, me starting my own brand and <clears throat> traveling and this and that. You know, I always, Hit them with the same question is, you know, why not strike the iron while it's hot? Why not believe in yourself and do things that you would probably do uh, once you retire or maybe you regret later on in life? And for me, I'm always thinking a step ahead and always trying to plan for my future. And I really, like I said, I mean, really right now it's just having fun. I mean, you know, I keep referring back to winning all these titles and stuff. I mean, what's going to motivate me right now is the fun that I have in the gym. You know, the fun I have meeting you guys to do these videos. I mean, let's face it, I mean, I can, you know, if God wanted me to be done with this, I mean, I'd be done and I still have what I have, but what, what really motivates me is you guys, your involvement, your engagement, you know, your positive reinforcement. Um, it's not just with me. It's, uh, you can root for whoever you want because essentially you're rooting for body I, I just am the guy that just wants everybody to be positive because I know the late Ben and Joe Weider, that's what they wanted. They wanted everybody, you know, to go after their goals and, and to try to achieve greatness in their own life. Um, you may not be Mr. Olympia. You may not even win your class at your next show. Does that mean that you failed? No, because you're better than you where you started. And you have the willingness to learn. And as long as you make a decision that you want to get better, I promise you, you will. If you dedicate yourself in this day after day, year after year, you're, you're going to get better. And with what I get to do with these talks that I have, the seminars that I do around the world, is to try to bring perspective. Because I get to talk about the time management, the organization, the level of confidence you need to go after your dreams, to make them reality. You know, a lot of guys talk about, like, they wish, they wish, they wish. Screw that, man. It's time to go get it. Let's go do it. I'm living it. And you can, too, if you decide that this is what you want to do. Not just bodybuilding, but in life. I can take what I've learned in bodybuilding and transfer that into every other walk of life, and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I've got gifted athletics. I've got, you know, gifted nutrition. I've got, you know, I've surrounded myself with great, intelligent people that have a high esteem for, you know, bringing forth, you know, excellence. And I encourage each and every one of you guys to surround yourself with people that are as good, if not better, than you in something, because you're going to learn a lot. We're all here to learn. That's why we're watching these videos, right? To compare and contrast between your different favorite bodybuilders. I know that's what I used to do. I used to open up the Flex magazine and say, I want shoulders like Kevin Rohn, abs like Sean Ray, quads like, you know, Ronnie Coleman, back like Ronnie Coleman. Uh, you know, like, and, and combine them one on one, right? Stay, still stay, stay, stay somewhat symmetrical, you know, aesthetic, kind of like Flex Wheeler, but make it my own. You know, this is all about perspective. I don't care who you root for, man. Root for somebody. Make it your own. Watch these videos. Log on the flats. Let them know what you want to see. If you want to see more videos with me? 
tell them this. Tell them I'm here training every day, obviously, having the time of my life kicking ass in these weights. You know, tell them. Tell me. Go on my Facebook, go on the Gifted Nutrition website, log on there too. Tell us what you want out of that. Tell us. That's the only way. That's the only way things get done now. We all know social media. Let's do it. I'm getting ready for the fight of my life again. You know, I'm going through, you know, a lot of new changes in life. It's awesome. You know, got, got hit with, you know, some personal stuff this year. My dad passed away in March. But, you know what, he lives on, you know, and I get to fulfill his legacy, you know, working my butt off every day, hoping that I win another stand -up. And, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, they go through a lot of hardships and this and that. And I'm here to tell you, man, it's all about the journey. It's all about knowing that if you believe in yourself and you have the willingness to learn and you have the due diligence to educate yourself and to create a mindset that you would bet the house, the farm, everyone's money on yourself because you believe in yourself. That's what it's about. I cannot get ready for this Olympia and not bet the house and farm and cow and uh, everything on myself. So when you hear about me saying I want to win and I want to kick everybody's ass, it's because I believe. These guys, they're thinking the same thing. They're telling you, I'm going to kick Phil's ass. And you applaud it. And that's great. But for me, I have to believe in myself. I have to tell myself. I have to do it. I know they're here, but what can I ask of myself right now? And it's, can I go harder? Can I be smart? Can I not get injured? Can I be meticulous with my food? And all sorts of stuff. But overall, am I having fun? Am I still smiling? Am I still talking all the damn time? And, and maybe it's because of the pre-workout. I don't know. But I'm having the time of my life. Uh, thanks for watching, man. This is cool. Um, got another segment we're gonna do outside. Um, it's for an awesome charity. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. So, uh, till next time, man. It's the gift. Hopefully, four time, man. We're going for that that Heath Peak. We're able to just say four now. We're going for the Heath Peak, man. And uh, it's because of people like you that are watching, that are logging on, on the, all the social feeds, encouraging me, encouraging bodybuilding fans around the world, getting each other hype, man. I mean, NBC Sports is going to cover this. This is, what? That's crazy. No one thought that bodybuilding was ever going to be on a national stage like that again. People were saying it was dead. People still say it's dead. It's not, man. It's on NBC Sports. And I'm Mr. Olympia, and we're out.